<laughs> I go <call> Bobo. <laughs> I would eat the dandelions when they were yellow, not when they were white. Don't worry. The texture wasn't good. Hi, I'm at work. Hi, I'm at I'm at home. <laughs> Can we get some Wemmies? Holy moly, 15 months? Uh oh. I need to get a year and a half badge. Thank you, Ami, for the resub. Thank you. Hi, Kim. Welcome in. Welcome in. That's even worse? What? Okay, you know, you ever see the videos of people eating the um, cattails? That's what I picture eating the white dandelion. Is like icky. Granted, I stopped when I was like five, okay? I was a dumb little kid. As with everybody. Hi, baddie. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hi, baddie. Hi, potato. Welcome in. Dude, so many chatters. Hello. Shit, I didn't turn my phone off. <laughs> Ignore hello. <laughs> Hi Chip, welcome in. Hello. Almost 711 followers. Yeah, guys, can we get two followers today? Please. Everybody's weekend. I haven't been live in a few days. Oopsie. I'll, I'll talk about it when I turn the face cam on. Unless? No. <laughs> if, you, if you saw the art channel stream on Monday, then you know. Oh, you got the postcards? Nice! I was gonna ask. Feel free to post them if you want, Kim. Just tag me. Ain't no way! Oh, I didn't do shit. <laughs> Thank you for the gifted sub, Bobo. <laughs> Went to mercy. Thank you. <laughs> My sleep schedule has been as. Any recommendations? I saw this one TikTok today where it said, avoid caffeine 10 hours before, avoid screen time an hour before, avoid eating three hours before. And that's kind of what I've been doing. Minus the screen time. For like the past few weeks, and I've been sleeping a bit better. Another thing is, I had to communicate to my- oh, Wait, Chatters, can we- if we get one more person to subscribe or cheer bits, we'll get a hype train. Can we get a hype train today? Oh, <laughs> uh, anyway, so like, I told my friends, I was like, you cannot text me past like 11pm anymore. Cause like, I would stay up till like midnight or 1. To, like talk to my friends but i was like i can't do this shit no more so ever since i like you gotta set like healthy boundaries in that case right so once i was like you know 11 p.m is my cutoff time i was able to sleep a lot better for the past few weeks so just pull an all-nighter that usually fixes it for me it's kind of like a reset right a cherry tart juice makes you pass out that sounds icky though ew icky my sister mistakenly bought grapefruit juice again, and it tastes like ass. Grapefruit juice is always so bitter. I don't know. Cause she insisted, cause I opened the fridge one day and I saw we had grapefruit juice, and I was like, oh no, which dumbass bought this? And my sister was like, I did. And I'm like, you fucking dumbass bitch? Like, last time you bought this, you said you hated it, so why would you buy it again? Actual D-O-M. M-M-Y. <laughs> Oh my god, hi Robin, welcome back. Can we get some yo's? Hello. I need to post that I'm live. Um, face cam on at um, a million subs, everybody. Don't worry. <laughs> the, the million subs bit will never get old to me. I think it's hilarious. Dude, I spent so much time talking, I, I didn't get my go lives ready. <clears throat> Maybe the juice was on sale? No, it was the Simply juice, so it's expensive. 
Guys, 10 seconds left for hype train. Hello. Good morning. I, I'm still posting. I'm still posting. Don't worry. <clears throat> I saw this one TikTok this morning that was saying that simply orange juice, or the orange juice in particular, has like a bunch of corrosive chemicals in it. Like it's the same ones that's on nonstick pans. So guys, don't drink simply juice anymore. How do you confuse flavors? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I think you kind of got to be a little bit, you know. <laughs> Hello, good morning, good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well today. We had Kobobo, Kim, Robin, Chip, Potato. I said potato already. Batty and Emmy in the just starting soon screen. Thank you guys for chatting. Welcome in everybody. Welcome in. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, I did my hair a little bit differently today. By that, I mean I didn't put any product in. I just have some in the front today. Because, wait, look at these. These look pretty good without product. Thank you, Emmy. Have fun at work. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine having a job. Wait, wait, I was going to talk about Emmy today. Everybody. Um, hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag not an ad. I was gonna do this unplanned, don't worry, I mean, this is not. She has a Patreon launching, so if you like art, everybody go sub to her Patreon. If you sub to Emmy's Patreon, tag her on Twitter saying I sent her your way, and every Patreon subscription she gets today, I will give you a high five, everybody. <laughs> $5 a month to get cool stickers. I'm excited, guys. If Emmy gets enough Patreons, then maybe she'll make stickers for me, I don't know. <laughs> Everybody, sub to our Patreon, please. That'd be epic. So cute. I know. I know. I'm excited for what she's gonna launch soon. I mean, no leaks. No leaks. Oh my god, hi, Mac. Welcome in. Everybody, go, go check out her Patreon. She has information on her Twitter and I think her Twitch page. So if you just click her username, it should pop up. Leak? I'm not. I'm not leaking. I signed an NDA. Even though NDAs, you can still like skirt around them. Like you don't necessarily need to like not snitch. There are protections in place legally to where some things, if you leak, you'll be protected. So, okay. What else? Last time I was live on this channel was Thursday. Oopsie. My ears are closed. No, I actually can't leak. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, I can't leak. Don't worry. Don't worry. All I'm gonna say is that the, um, MEB Gucci collab is happening. Okay. Dude, my ring light is so bright. I, I haven't used it in a few days, because I haven't gone live in a few days. I'm fine, though. So, Thursday was the last time I went live. I think we did a space for the Unbound. And then Friday, I had a doctor's appointment. Guys, lore update. Hashtag... <laughs> <laughs> Trigger warning, doctor appointment. Nothing crazy happened. So, update. This is probably going to be the last update for a while. But for my um, big brain, because essentially, new chatters, um, my brain sticks out to about here on the nape of my neck. Ew, I hated that side profile. Ew. <laughs> so, um, essentially, it causes a lot of pain and fatigue. But, my doctor told me I probably don't need PT, so physical therapy, unless I get surgery, and they are saying they highly recommend I get brain surgery now, so that's kind of scary, so I'm still debating, I'm still debating if I want to, like, actually do it, because since I'm on the Brokey State Insurance, we love Washington, we love Inslee, Inslee isn't gonna run again, what are we gonna do? Inslee is not gonna be our governor. Anyway, so... They said even though the procedure costs like 50 grand, because it's brain surgery, um, it'll most likely be fully covered by my insurance, which is kind of crazy. We love Medicare for all. Um, so, it'll most likely be fully covered. If not, then, you know, gotta get that GoFundMe going. <laughs> or maybe we'll just do a Zobathon. That works as well. So... I still have a bit of time to think about if I want to do it because 
the success rate is pretty good. Most clients who do get the surgery experience a lot less symptoms. Um, but you're usually like at a commission for two weeks. Like you, you have to stay in the hospital after the, after the procedure is done for like at least three days, I think they said. So like there's a little hospice care. So it's a big decision. I don't know if I want to do it yet. I'm still, I'm going to scared because essentially what they would have to do is they would have to like, I would have to get an undercut finally, but they would have to like cut open here. And like put like this ceramic plate in that way that my brain isn't exposed anymore so yeah that's that was friday <laughs> um because i remember i i also had to mail crystal's painting wait i forgot to show you guys guys i would never scam literally never ever ever scam but guys since we did the launch for exclamation shop in chat, everybody, exclamation shop in chat. Um, for the giveaway stream, somebody did receive a free painting. Guys, it's real. Crystal got their painting in the mail on Monday. So, yeah. Because I also had to mail the painting on Friday. And it was boring. It was boring. Yeah, the picture is cool. I was gonna, <laughs> I was going to reply. Oh, that's that's um, Crystal's sketch card they got a year ago, almost. Um, I was going to reply. <laughs> But I was- I was- de I decided to be nice. Cause like, it's like the RGB bisexual lighting that Crystal has in their room. <laughs> but I was like, no, I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna be nice. Um, so that's why I didn't stream on Friday. And then, I have a bolt little homework to do this month. I was gonna plan on like, doing more streams this month, but I don't think I'll be able to. Because I essentially have to make three whole branding campaigns. So it's like... Almost 120 hours worth of work, so... I think plan for this week. Mario Kart today, I'll try to do three hours. I have literally... Three cue cards today. I spent two hours yesterday looking up different topics and talking points. Also, you guys can ask me questions as we play, as normal. So, I have three cue cards. So, this is like... Two months worth of content, everybody. Um, So... Yeah, we're gonna do Mario Kart today. I think Space for the Unbound tomorrow. And then Friday, I have a friend coming over from out of state. So they're staying for the weekend. So I'm not gonna stream this weekend, probably. Um, so I think Friday, after I get my homework done and clean the house, because I don't want it to be cluttered when they come over, um, I think I'll do a sub only on Friday in like the afternoon. Pit check? Who's the friend? You guys have never heard of this person. I haven't seen this person in a while, so... I thought you, like, never read the cards. <laughs> no, I do. I just make new cards every time I do Mario Kart because I, like, answer the questions. Pit check? Uh, this... The, I haven't worn this in a while, but it's like a... It's like an old mom shawl. Internet friend? No, it's someone I knew years ago. Stop internet sleuthing. You don't need to know everything, guys. I saw this one person say... That you're not obligated to share any personal, like, life shit with your co-workers. And then they went on this, like, five-minute tangent on why it's the more professional thing to do. And I was like, that's actually very real and true. Also, okay, before we get started, I think I'm gonna be a bit zooted today because... Um... I spontaneously... I spontaneously, like... How do you say it? Clean- deep clean the kitchen? So my hands smell like bleach. I, I spontaneously cleaned it like literally at 10.30. <laughs> oh my god, hi hacker, welcome in. Welcome in. Peason's biggest fan? No, I see that guy all the time. I would never leak, I would never leak. <laughs> Why did I think you were gonna say you did drugs? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I did not do drugs. My doctor recommended I don't do weed. Everybody, it's 11-11, make a wish. I'm waiting for the day you actually do it. Why? Dude, paddle the stream, I try weed for the first time. Would that- I feel like that'd be a crazy stream. But then, I don't think trying weed for the first time would be good to do on stream. Because it doesn't, like, weed make you, like, paranoid. And I'm really paranoid. So, it'd be like a double whammy. <laughs> wish for peace to do drugs. Shouldn't you guys be looking for my best interest? Like, come on. 
It'll give you so much clout. Imagine all the, like, the TikTok clips I could farm, though. You're right. Okay, let's play some fucking Mario Kart. Oh, wait, there was one more thing I wanted to bring up. Um, where is it? Here it is. Oops. <laughs> no leaks. <laughs> um, I have a personal account on TikTok. It's just at peacein17 with no underscore. Um, I'm debating if I want to post on it. It won't be anytime soon, but I feel like on the art account, whenever I do post on that again, and then the clips account, you do get a lot of like insight on like my perspective or something, but you don't like see a lot of me. So, would it be good if I posted more, like, normie content on my main, like, filters or whatever? I, w I thought of that this morning, and I was like, maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't, I don't know. I don't know. First time I did it, I forgot how to chew? Oh, no. Oh, Megalala. What is the miracle berry? Will it cure my depression? If so, then I want some of that. Okay, last thing, everybody. What is this? Is this peaceinart.myshopify.com, everybody? What is this? Guys, we have one sale. Let's go. <laughs> um, use code TWITCH10 for $10 off your purchase today. Also, you can use code MAY10 for 10% off your entire purchase. Everybody, exclamation shop and chat. Can we get to a gazillion clicks today? You know, it's actually kind of cool because I was talking to my... um. I guess graduation team at college about my website right and all my painting and shit and they're like that's actually kind of impressive that you did that by yourself and that you have one sale already in less than less than a month and i was like yep the way to do it you can't just launch a product without a supportive fan base is not the right word but like kind of well i don't know <laughs> i know these are like people who are like in the industry who are like counseling me um but you can't just launch a product online in hopes that it will pop off and sell. It either needs to um, stand on its own, like the product has to be ha actually has to be like monumental, or you have to have a viewer base or followers that will monetarily support you in terms of like actually buying a product. So. She's calling us fans? No! No, I'm not. I would never. Let's play some Mario Kart, everybody. Okay, Ma, ask me anything. Ask me anything. I can't hear the game. It's so loud. No, we're not a community. No, no. Yeah, I, I need to practice the new tracks. I always say I do. Let's see. Oh, yeah. So I don't have three stars in the new DLCs yet. My goal today is to get the three stars. I'll do it today. Stream ends when I get three gold stars. Yes. The new tracks are hard, though. Have you unlocked all the cart stuff? I don't think so. I mean, I don't care. I'm not gonna change my build anytime soon, so it's not like it matters. <clears throat> Dude, I, I'm looking at my cue cards and there's like way too many topics. I'm overwhelmed. I did warm up a little bit before stream today. I played two online matches and I got... Oh, this is 200! I got a 6th and then a last place. But in both of the races, I had like 2nd place all up until last round. Favorite song at the moment? Ooh, that's actually a good question. I've been listening to a lot of Korean soft pop. I don't listen to like the cliche K-pop. I think it's a bit too much for me. Because I usually just listen to my YouTube recommended songs. But I don't think I have a particular favorite song. But I think my favorite new, new artist is... Hyun? I don't know how to say it. It's H-Y-N-N. -N, um, Korean singer. And then also, I really like Givion. Or Giveon. 
I didn't know he was featured in Justin Bieber's Peaches song. I had no idea. But his singles, they're, they're about like love and heartbreak, you know, cliche, but his vocals are just beautiful in my opinion. I think my favorite song by him right now is Heartbreak Anniversary. Where I don't get a first time resetting, I don't care. I need to get a triple star today. This DLC has been out for almost a month already. <laughs> when I was playing online, one of my races I played, I had a 100cc race. And I haven't had one of those in ages. Because I'm no pleb, but I'm also like not a pro. So I usually get 150 or 200cc matches, but getting put into a 100cc? Is pitiful. It's disgraceful. That's possible. Yeah, I had. I was. I. It was. Um. Yoshi's Island. I think it, the new. The, the one that's in this pre. It was a hundred CC. It was way too freaking slow. I was thinking about this the other day, but you know how sometimes people will have like the fancy license plates? I know here in Washington there's- you can get one for UW, you can get some like landscape ones or animal ones, and so those people, they pay like an extra 20 to 50 dollars a year to have those fancy license plates. Like you're literally just copying up money to have like a fancy Valorant skin but that you pay for every year. It's literally so stupid. <laughs> like, the only novelty you're experiencing is like have like a little five-year-old point at your license plate as you drive past them. That's the only cool thing about it. I'm not gonna say that I would never get a fancy license plate because it does. I'm not sure if it's an annual charge or if it's a one-time fee. If you get like a custom code, like you know, I can get like custom letters or numbers. But I know for like the custom design you do have to pay a premium every year it's different rates in every state though but i think washington's is a bit more expensive i have no reason i have no clue why though i'm being attacked what license plate do you have dude are you really paying premium that's so silly oh that's so silly <laughs> i am literally calling you out right now that's so dumb <laughs> Yeah, I'm on track. Two to two. Who looks at license plates? I mean, I know when I was little, my parents would have us like play little games in the car. So they would be like, oh, try to find as many different state license plates you can, or if there's any like certain colored cars. Like just to like keep us occupied in the car. But as an adult, I don't fucking care. <clears throat> the only time I'll look at a license plate is if like they piss me off. Or if they're like speeding and then I get like I think to myself, I'm like, should I snitch? But then I then I get scared because um I live in America and there's way too many guns here. For the past few days since I haven't been streaming, I've been editing clips for like the TikTok and stuff. And I finally got to streams that were from in the new house, or in the new unit. And it's so weird, <laughs> like, seeing how my commentary, least, how my commentary slightly changed since moving. It's not that I- Ooh, dude, sniped him! It's not that I'm more, like, confident. I think I just- Um, <laughs> it's not that I overshare more. I think I just feel more comfortable talking here. Cause I remember like being at my parents' house, my room was like the furthest away from the living room, but I still felt like I had to talk softly. But now I can talk as loud as I want. It was pretty cool. Dude, double whammy. <laughs> it 
And also, the lighting when I first had my stream set up in this unit is so bad. <laughs> it's so dark, it's ugly. And the audio isn't as good, or it's it's still ash now, but it's, it's like worse than now, and I'm just like, oh, I hate this. <laughs> oh, you got your cards too? Let's go! I'm glad they arrived safely. I got so scared because when we have to mail letters in our unit, they have like a lockbox, right, that the USPS man unlocks, and there's like four different boxes. And for the whole past week, the, the mailman left the key in the in the mailbox. So like if somebody really wanted to, they could have just like opened the box and like taken people's mail. Thankfully nobody touched it, but I was still kinda scared. I was like, I hope nobody commits a felony and steals mail. You're bad at this map? I feel like this map was a lot harder on the Wii, but on the Switch it's not that bad. And I, I just never go for the half vibes. Wait, did I put Kimmy on the note? No, I didn't. I did I? Why? I've never called you that. That's so weird. I did not. You must. I was writing quickly, and my my um, penmanship is really bad. I did not write Kimmy. Send me a picture. I did not write Kimmy. I've never called you that in my life. And that's like so childish. Ew, I'm sorry. It's impressive how you're able to draw on a small surface. Thank you. I think the sketch cards, they aren't like fantastic, but I think they're pretty good for the space that I have. Because before I did like paintings and stuff, I did um, sketch cards. Like, you know how we used to, we used to do those on stream? Uh, that was like some of the first few streams I did. Or art streams. Fuck, where I did um, sketch cards. Dude! <gasps> I am. I'm shutting up. I'm, I'm shutting up. I need to. I need to win. This is the last race. This is the one keeping me from a three star. 200. Okay, I'm fine. I'm caught up. I'm so happy. Yeah, for sure. I'm glad. I'm really glad they arrived safely. I'm glad you liked them. I think I'll mail out cards every month from now on. So if you still need to send me your address, don't worry about it. I can I can mail letters at any time. It's just mailing packages takes a bit longer. Dude, why are there so many people? Oh, nice. <laughs> Ain't no way! Thank you for the gift of sub, Kim! Thank you! Can we get some wimps in chat? Because of that, I'm losing. Thank you, Kim. You're first gifted for the month. Enjoy those bonus ch channel points. Oh, no! You've ruined everything, Kim. I said I would reset if I lost. <laughs> you could have won- Dude, I was in ninth place. I was in ninth. That is copium. I would- I have no way I could have won from there. Literally no way. I'm not mad. I'm, I'm not rage quitting. I'm doing a polite reset. <laughs> Did I have missed Mario Kart? I think the glory of the whole mechanics within Mario Kart is that anybody can win, but also anybody can lose. I have to do this all again! Yeah, you're right. A star bullet could have done it, but I was... I was, I was mentally not ready. How's everybody's day been going? Mine's been pretty good. The only thing that I'm not liking is that it's finally starting to warm up a little bit. Like, whenever I go on my daily walks, I'm like sweating my ass off now.
but I've been feeling very productive the past few days. Like, I've been editing, I've been doing my homework, cleaning the house. But then in turn, I do spend a lot of time lazing around. Did you ever see the cute girl that lives in your unit from the buzz? I'm glad you remember that, Magic. <laughs> but no, I have not seen them. But they live in my unit, so I'm probably gonna see them again. But you know, I'm not I'm not looking for a grill right now, I think I'm fine. I didn't fail my finals. Let's go. Am I gonna be here all day? Uh, I decide I'm gonna change my character every time. We're gonna see which character is good luck. You know what else is good luck? Following my channel, because everybody, we are 30 minutes in the stream. So if you're new here, click the follow button. You get cool emotes and the ability to type in chat. If we get two more followers, we'll have 7-Eleven followers, and that's cool. So everybody, click the follow button. And if you're already following, make sure you have notifications turned on. That way you don't miss a single stream. Do you think you'll find... Oh, wait. I'll answer that question when we play the game. <laughs> I don't necessarily believe in fate, but I do believe that people come into your life for a reason. So, do I think that I will find somebody randomly one day? Most likely. I mean, I feel like most people like bang their coworkers or their friends and that's just how life goes. But I still like to entertain the idea of randomly meeting somebody at a coffee shop, you know? I don't think that'll happen anytime soon, though, because I'm a brokey. So I can't afford to spend, what, $10 on a coffee? But, you know, I would love to live a Hallmark movie. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I have a really bad joke. <laughs> Guys, don't cancel me. Don't cancel me. <laughs> I'm debating if I want to say it or not. Okay, I need to like concept it out first. What are you guys talking about? I'm losing. Say it? Okay. You know how there- Fuck me. You know how there's like always a movie where there's a guy in a wheelchair and then he falls for the girl and then they get married? Can that be me? It's just, I'm not in a wheelchair yet. It's gonna happen, but fuck me, I'm- I can't! It's like, can that be my Hallmark movie? Who would do? Every time I go like this, I smell the bleach that is still in my hands. Because I cleaned the kitchen this morning, not for any other reasons. Why am I throwing? I'm throwing. Stop talking? Okay. I'll mute.
see, sometimes I just need to shut the fuck up, don't I? Sorry, this is so true. She's spinning fast. <laughs> Dude, that was such a good... You guys, you guys played into the bit and that was really good. That was really good. <laughs> oh my god. You guys are great. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can't mess up exactly. I did really good on that previous race. Like, I did a lot better on lines that I usually flub. Maybe? Because, like, I could read chat fine. And, like, I was still thinking of, like, funny things to say back, but I just didn't say them. So I genuinely think, like, I have, like, audio processing issues. <laughs> or I just can't speak. There actually was a time in my life where I did go mute, kind of. It was back in, like, um... Early junior high. Like, I still talked when I- but only when I absolutely needed to. So like, if I was in school, I only really talked to- or like, the, if the teacher called on me, I'd talk. But otherwise, I didn't really. Could the speech thing be brain related? Yeah, it is. That's- that's what I'm kind of like scared of. Um, because since it affects my nervous system, Literally any part of my body could fail, in terms of long term. Um, <laughs> aware. So there's been cases where people- these are more severe cases where they have like other underlying shit going on. But there's been instances where people have lost full mobility in their arms or legs, where they lose the ability to speak, where um... <clears throat> Um, there was one case where somebody died in their sleep because their muscles didn't move, like their lungs didn't move. Um, obviously those are more obscure cases and I'm not at that point. So, yeah. Because <laughs> one of the symptoms is like slurred speech. And it's, it's not that I'm slurring a lot, it's just like, I jumble my words a lot. It's because my, my dad had a stroke about two years ago now, and ever since, he's not like slurring a lot, but he'll jumble up words a lot. And there is a history of like heart disease and early strokes in my family, so that's another concern. It's, yeah, it is a bit scary, but I, I just try not to think about it. And the important thing that I have to do now is just... Being as mobile as I can, like, I can't be sitting around all day, like, I'm going on my daily walks. I- I might save up for, like, an elliptical or something. Or a treadmill. Or, like, I can get a gym membership. And do, go do it there. Cause you know how people will go, like, on the treadmill and just watch, like, movies and shit for an hour as they walk? I feel like that'd be perfect for me, you know? I could just be watching like Hassan all day and just walking on the treadmill. Cause I usually go for at least one walk a day. I might start going for two. But it's like whenever I go on a walk, I hate feeling sweaty, so I always have to like wash up right away. And now that summer is starting, I know like even if I step outside, I'm gonna get swamp ass. Wait, this is the last track, isn't it? Oh no, it's not. Yoshi's Island is the last one. Shit. Wait. Is there no- there's no mini-map. Why- okay, pause. Is there usually a mini-map when you play with the computers? Yeah, I don't remember if there is. There is? Okay. Because it's like, I, j I literally just noticed that it's not here. Because it's usually right below my face cam. Oh, I 
I did turn it off. <laughs> okay. There it is. Thank you, hacker. I thought my game was like actually glitched because my Switch did update right before stream. Okay, everything else is correct. Oh, you are right. Okay. <laughs> Dude, hacker for the win. Easy. <laughs> okay, now for this last race, since I always flub during the Yoshi's Island, I'm not gonna talk. I'm literally not gonna talk. So nobody try anything funny. Nobody say bad words. I stream ends when I get three star gold trophies. Don't look at chat either, but I, I still need to look. Just in case anybody does say bad words. I get scared. Like, imagine, like, Kobobo just goes off the rails one day. Is S. I, I, like, an SD card? No. Wait, I said I was not gonna talk. trying to do, Mac. I know what you're trying to do. Oh, dude, I sniped Bowser. That was kind of crazy. Didn't even try him that good. Really nice of you, Potato. That's adorable. <laughs> Being a good kid, we love that. Oh, I didn't spin out. Okay. Okay, get ready to spam. I was here. I'm gonna get first. everybody finally after after 30 minutes my hands smell like bleach <laughs> Now on to the next pre, which is harder than this one. Guys, three-star gold trophy. Easy. <clears throat> I think I deserve a treat. Does the controller smell like bleach? No. It's not porous. Let's do Link. Thank you for redeeming Potato. We'll do that at the end of stream. Go rub lemon on them? Where's lemon in chat? <laughs> Why do you keep smelling? No, when I go like this. Or anytime I like put my hands in my face, I can smell it. I'm not doing it on purpose. It's because I breathe through... I'm not a mouth breather. I breathe through my nose. Um, anybody wondering, I will not be playing the new Zelda on stream because my sister has the game. She's not gonna let me play it. Oh, I'll, re I'll refund you, hacker. We're not doing Call to the Lamb today. Unless... <clears throat> I 
I still have the balloons from the birthday stream. They're out in our living room. Wait! Did I choose the wrong one? Oh. Guys, we're going again. Can you do sacrifice yourself but you jump off the track? You know, I fall off the track anyway, for free, so I think it's kind of pointless. Yeah, the only reason why they increase the price of the game is that they know consumers will still buy it anyway. It's a scam. Guys, I think we should boycott Nintendo. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, Nintendo, I'm kidding. I'm kidding! I love Mario Kart. I play it every week! <laughs> oh yeah, this weekend? Is there's a GameStop at our local mall, so my friend and I, we're gonna buy the new Zelda. Hopefully they won't be out of stock. And we're gonna play a little bit together. By that, I mean I'm just gonna watch them play on the TV as I cheer them on. Okay, I don't have this track fully really memorized yet, so this this might take a few attempts. How many second? Okay, never mind, I'm in first. Easy! I never experienced in school, like middle school or high school, is having somebody bring in like presents on your birthday. Wait, no. Okay, it's not that they didn't get presents. Like, I remember one of my friends, she would draw me like a picture every year and give me a little goodie bag. I appreciated that a lot. But I mean, like, you ever see the kids who's like parents bringing like a whole bunch of balloons and then they're just carrying balloons all day? Or like they get like a bunch of stuffed animals? You hear them call the and God damn, I can't talk. It's mad cringe. No, it is kind of cringe, but it's kind of cute. Do you think that somebody would like take time of the day to like give you something? Because I've never gotten balloons for my birthday, like ever. But this year, my roommate, they brought me balloons during the birthday stream, right? And it was honestly really cute. They did tell me beforehand, because they were like, do you want balloons? And I was like, maybe, smile. It is still cute to think that they took like the 30 minutes to go get it. Oh my god, that was close. I did not realize that was the last lap. I had my first and only birthday party. Really? That sucks. My mom, she would throw like really... They weren't elaborate because, you know, we were balling on a budget. But she would have a themed birthday party every year up until 6th grade for my sister and I. There was like, for my 4th birthday she did pirates. Um, I think for my 7th, she did Barbie, and then for my 6th grade, so that must have been like when I was 13 or 12, my mom did a minute to win it theme, but it was cringe. I don't like parties, there's too many people, I agree with that, but I think it's like, if it's only with like your core friends, I think parties are cool. Granted, I've never been to like a, a house party, because that is kind of scary, but I think... If you have a group of like five people, that could be a party, you know? Getting some happy birthday is so awkward. I agree. I totally agree. Um, because <laughs> I was supposed to go out to dinner with um, my roommates and then my friend, but then my friend got sick this year, right? So I told them in advance. I was like, if you guys make the staff sing happy birthday for me, we're literally done. We're literally done being friends. I'm going to be 24 years old. I'm going to be sung happy birthday. I do not want to make these people who are probably younger than me making bare minimum wages sing fucking happy birthday to me. <laughs> it's like, I'm not a queen, I'm not a king. It's like, I feel like it's so demeaning for the workers to like, have to drop what they're doing, you know, stop stirring the stew, stop writing checks, and sing happy birthday to some ungrateful middle-aged woman who is giggling and smiling having themselves be filmed for their Facebook profile. You know, I don't like that. 
On my recent birthday, I just clapped and sang along as well. Oh, that's kind of cute, though. Or, but singing along to the happy birthday song, I feel is weird. I've never done it. I just, like, sit there quietly, like... Wishing for it to be over. <laughs> Been in, I got scared. Okay. Easy, halfway done. Halfway done. So I remember when I turned 18, I told my parents, I was like, please don't post me on Facebook anymore, you know. Don't post pictures of me or any of that shit. And I remember for my birthday, I think it was last year. She's like, can I at least like film the cake as we sing you happy birthday? Like I won't show your face. And I was like, okay. Because all the other, like, previous years of them singing Happy Bird to me, it's just me sitting there, like, really sad. Because I hated being filmed for having pictures taken. Oh, this is the track that's gonna end me. I'm not good at this one. That's why, like, I'm kind of concerned for a lot of the younger kids. Like, the kids who are, like, 5 to 10 right now, whose parents just film them. Like, I, I understand you have the right to, like, capture memories, quote-unquote, but... I feel like... You ever see, like, somebody post a family video, and it's them, like, pranking their kid, and you can tell that the kid is, like, obviously distressed and upset, but the parent is still, like, filming them? It's kind of like YouTube family vlog type vibes. It's very icky, in my opinion. So I know if I ever had a kid in this digital age, I would make sure they would feel comfortable filming. Or rather, I would film with their permission, but just not post it. Because I feel like posting it adds a whole other level of, like, privacy invasion for the kid. Even if the kid doesn't, like, fully realize what's what the severity of it could be. Because, you know, there's no weird people online that don't necessarily know who on your Facebook page is not going to be weird, right? Also, I don't want any employer to, like, search my name <laughs> and see, like, old baby pictures of me. <laughs> I'm a third. Uh-oh. Oh, damn it. Family YouTube channels are weird. I agree. No, I don't know, like, who's the target audience for that type of content? Like, is it... Is it family? Is it, like... Like, what five-year-old comes home from school and is like, I want to watch my favorite channel on YouTube, the Brown Family Vlog channel. It's just weird to me. Okay, I don't know. I don't know if I can come back from this. Oh, no, it's... <laughs> um... It's over. Uh... I don't know, this this track is a bit hard for me. I'll do one more attempt, because I want to do online. Or I'll do two more tries. Ooh, the turquoise is cool. Dude, all the Splatoon fans freaking out right now. <laughs> I don't see the hype in Splatoon. Okay, I didn't say you did. All the Splatoon fans get potato, not me. Clippers! It's weird that family vlog channels make money off of the turmoil of their children. I agree. The only counter I see to that argument is I don't think every single video that a family vlog channel posts is gonna be like 
negative in terms of like showcasing bad moments. Like it's probably just gonna be like normal ass shit, but the only thing that gets attention will be the bad moments. But I don't think kids should be filmed at all. Because the issue with family vlogging and like a lot of online content is that there's not a lot of child labor laws for it. Like if a child is on a traditional like ad like film set, um, then there's like limits to how many hours they can work. They have to have like schools on site, like on the set. They have to have tutors, but with family vlog channels, it's just people filming their lives. So it's kind of similar to reality TV. But with reality TV, it's still considered like a, a set. So there's a lot more rights for the actual children being filmed. Yeah, I agree that it will be negative in the long run. But I think it could also be there's not... Like, YouTube hasn't been around enough for, like... The kids who are being filmed to have, like... 10 to 20 years down the line, so it's kind of hard to tell, like, what the actual long-term developmental side effects will be. Easy! The Ace family in the house drama was something? I know! Guys, should I make a vlog channel? Or, no, a family vlog channel. <laughs> not everybody should be a parent. I agree. Do you guys think there should be some type of, like, training class on how to be a parent? Or, you know how- <laughs> You know how they have, like, recommended reading books for summer vacation and school? Should they give, like, a recommended reading list for parents? <laughs> Peace and as kids real- Guys, I'm on birth control. I talked to my doctor. Um, and they were- Because I've been on depo for- Ooh, literally four years now. Literally four years. So it's like near impossible for me to like get pregnant, which is nice. We love that. But I always told myself if I ever want to have kids, I would for sure want to adopt. Cause just pregnancy in general is really traumatizing. And girlies, um, look up the husband stitch. Kind of scary. Wait, I need to try hard! I'm like just playing casually, forgetting that I need to actually win. These fireballs are it. You can't adopt- is that really a, a reason for denial? That's kind of bad. I never really looked into, like, the requirements in order to be able to adopt. But if that is, like, a regulation thing, that's kind of fucked up. I don't think anybody should have barriers to do most anything in terms of, like, whatever you race, your identity, or your abilities. Or not ability, but, like, disability, right? I don't think you should be barred from anything. And just because you are... You are divergent does not mean you're unable to care for somebody. Isn't that ableist? I wonder if that is like regulation between different states. Because I know different states have different rules for adoption. Like you know how some like private adoption agencies won't allow queer couples to adopt? It could be one of those things. I'm actually gonna look that up now. Because my sister, she's on the spectrum, right? And she also said she wants to adopt at some point when she's like old or older. But, if that's true in our state, then that's really fucked. And autistic people adopt. We'll look into this during the break because everybody, we are an hour in the stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for four ninety nine, just five dollars. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing, or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe. 
See if you have a Prime sub available. After the ad, we're gonna keep on playing. 2 out of 10, shut the fuck up! I hope you see that ad, but you can't because you're a sub. Okay, let me actually... Look at this. Oh... A lot of- I haven't, like, read an article, but a lot of, like, the, the intros of the articles say you can. Let's see, the rights of peoples with disabilities who want to adopt or be foster parents. It could be different. It's probably, it could be regulations like private adoption agencies, because they can be as restrictive as they want. Okay, so right here. What disability rights protect people with disabilities who want to adopt or be foster parents? There are two laws that protect people with disabilities who want to adopt children from a government- Oh. From a government agency that is probably it so it is probably just like private adoption agencies that restrict people which makes sense harsh truth yeah i agree the foster system is fucked okay so yeah private agencies rule america and it's not good okay so this the laws protect government funded agencies um these laws are the Americans with Disability Acts, the ADA, and Section 504 of the Rehabilitation Act. There are two parts of the ADA that protect people with disabilities from being mistreated. One part tells state, city, and town governments what to do. The other tells businesses what to do. Section 504 is for business and organizations that get money from the federal government, like child welfare agencies. Okay, public adoptions are usually for children in foster care. Different people and organizations run private adoptions like lawyers and agencies. Courts and agencies pick who can adopt children based on facts about the adopter's life. Okay, so then foster care in particular, child welfare agencies run foster care. So foster care is funded by the government. A rare government, W? Yeah. <laughs> well... I guess what that means, Chip, is that if you do want to consider that in the future, you'd have to go through foster care programs or a government-funded agency. Yeah, so just look around your local options when the time comes. Because it, it seems like private agencies will discriminate. So it says Agencies can't stop you from adopting or fostering Just because you have a disability I think it could be a case of You know how When people are hiring for jobs They're like oh, Okay you ever apply for a job and then you get denied But they don't tell you why So then you always have that like underlying feeling Of like oh is it because I'm a woman Or is it because I'm POC Or is it because I have a disability It could be that where they just it could be the reason why, but they just don't say it's the reason why. I don't know. But, you know, we learned something today. There are protections in place if you want to foster or adopt, but... you probably have less restrictions in a government-funded agency. Well, now that- now I know. <laughs> I mean, I'm not adopting anytime soon. Don't worry, guys. The only thing I want to adopt is a cat. I want a cat so bad. It will literally cure my depression if I had a cat right now. Do you guys see the clip circling of the Puss in Boots movie? Where it's like, the most accurate depiction of a 
Frank and Jack, I've seen a meteor in years! And it's like, Puss like, hyperventilating and then the dog sits on his lap. Yeah, that's me all the time. If I had a cat that could, you know, hang out with me, that'd be great. Ooh, ableism, love it, I know, right? <laughs> that's gonna be me, like... Now that I've, like, recently been diagnosed, I am in the process of, like, getting benefits from the government and, like, getting a formal, like... Because in Washington, you can have, like, a separate ID that, like, identifies that you're disabled. Smile. That way, if you get pulled over by the cops, you can pull out your license and be like, Hey, don't shoot me! <laughs> you know, I'm disabled. Before they yank you out of the car and break your legs. Anyway. Um... Now that I'm kind of like more aware of everything and the troubles that a lot of um, disabled people face like on the daily, I'm more aware of everything and I, I feel like I have a lot more compassion and empathy towards people, both able-bodied and disabled. But then also in turn, I feel like I've gotten more sensitive. Like you ever like see a video online and it's people being like, not outwardly like ableist, but there's like underlying tones of them being kind of like ableist, right? Or like the kind of like edgier people. And I'm just like, maybe that joke isn't as funny as I thought it was. No! Come on! I'll do one more attempt. One more. <laughs> yeah, the Waluigi Stadium is the one that I'm gonna have trouble with. For sure. Thoroughly, this time I'll beat it. Okay, since the live-action version of The Last of Us is popping off, I still haven't seen it. But I feel like everybody is talking about zombies again. And if there was a zombie apocalypse, I don't think I'd live very long, honestly. One, I don't like guns. I've never fired a gun in my life, so I don't know how to use one. And I feel like everybody- if there was a zombie apocalypse, everybody would just go crazy. Like, I would be more scared of the people for sure. And like, after watching The Walking Dead, I think that's a very good depiction of like, how humanity will react. Like, honestly, I would just hide in a house and starve. I'm not going outside if there's an apocalypse. And if somebody breaks in and steals my shit, GG is- Would you still stream? <laughs> yeah, dude. Day 23 live from the Meg Esports Zombie Apocalypse Bunker, everybody. <laughs> that would be wild. I remember watching this Korean drama show, and it was essentially zombies, but it was like centered around the pandemic, right? And there was one guy who was like literally live streaming. And that was the gimmick, because like the guy kept live streaming, and he was trying to get like crazy shots of him like surviving through the zombie, like stampedes. But then he died because he was streaming and he didn't pay attention, so he got eaten. Oh. Hey, this first track, I feel like the laps aren't long enough. Like I didn't even realize that it was lap three. I think that's kind of the demerit to the non-looping tracks. They don't, they're very hard to memorize. You also don't know when a lap is complete.
Yeah, because I think Bangkok Rush and then Singapore Speedway are like that. That's why I struggle with them a lot. No, I did not enable Kaka over the weekend. Ew. Yeah, I would- I'm never enabling Kaka in the chat. Never. It's inappropriate. Also, I would just like to say... I know I kind of, like, allude to vulgar jokes, and I think that's fine. I just don't want people, like, to actually say <laughs> inappropriate words in the chat. Like, I think it's funny whenever I kind of, like, allude to making a risque joke and then everybody's like, LOMAO in the chat. But just don't anybody say the jokes or the actual dirty words. Because there's one streamer that I watch and I've been watching for about, like, a year and a half now. And it's kind of interesting to see how chat rooms change, because the chat room drastically shapes the commentary. So, what I've noticed over the past, like, few months with this channel that I watch, I'm not gonna say what it is, but I've noticed that a lot of the commentary has gotten, like, more vulgar, and, like, the chat just makes, um, C-O-M-E jokes all the time. And... It's- I think that type of humor is fine. I personally like that humor. I just don't use it for my own personal stream. And I think people can make whatever jokes they want, right? But there's sometimes where you can tell when the personality is like- or the streamer is like obviously uncomfortable. But then they don't like stop the behavior. Because I know if you guys ever were like, were like popping off and making jokes that I don't like, I would call you up. I'd be like, shut up bitch and then time you out or something. But, I think that's the main difference. If you're gonna do, like, more, I guess, edgy commentary like that, you just have to know- OH MY GOD! You have to know when to draw the line. Yeah, I'm done. I'm doing online now. Fuck this. <laughs> Still online. <laughs> I also want to say, like, if there's any- Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna close and reopen the game. Also, if there's any time in which I make a joke that crosses a line for somebody, please tell me. Because I think it's very easy when you are streaming, no matter how big or how small your audience is. It's very easy to be in your own bubble and not have your core audience criticize you when need be. So if there's ever any time that I make a comment or a joke that skirts the line or um, is insensitive, call me out on it. I don't want to continue that behavior. And I'm not saying like, don't call me a dumbass bitch if I make a joke that is bad. <laughs> you just be have to be like, hey, this is why the joke is insensitive. And just inform me on it, and then I'll be like, okay, I'll correct the baby. Because <laughs> I think it's impossible for anybody to be fully mindful and sensitive to others because you don't have everybody's lived experience, right? No matter how much you read online, no matter how many books you read, you'll never fully understand something unless you live it yourself. So. Goofing and gaffing is fine, but still boundaries need to be drawn, people need to be respected, and if any time I cross those lines, I need to be told. Very real and true. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I'll ever make, like, a racist joke, you know, but everybody has underlying prejudices, even if you don't outwardly express it. I definitely do think <laughs> that I name call a bit too much. That is the one thing 
that I always say. <laughs> like, I, I call people a dumbass bitch all the time. But it's not like I'm doing it to, like, be angry or mean. That's just how I banter. But then I still need to understand that not everybody is receptive to that. You inspire me to be a streamer? Aw, that's so cute. Fuck it! <laughs> oh, thank you, Chip. Dude, sniped! That's the second person I've sniped today. In game, in game. FBI, in game. I definitely think the person that inspired me to start streaming is for sure Ludwig. I know he's everybody's streamer, but he was the first live streamer that I watched regularly. Because you know, I'm a big YouTube frog, I love YouTube content. But I think the way that Ludwig streams, it's made to be YouTube content. So I feel like I adjusted to that format very easily, but still my favorite analysis on. I know a lot of people shit on him, but he's still my favorite. I think the thing with streaming is that somebody new is not gonna like you right away. They have to get accustomed to your style, your voice, your actual stream format. Like, I know for me it takes like maybe five streams to start liking somebody. <laughs> Unless I had like my own opinion of them before I started watching their stream content. Like, I'm following a lot of channels on Twitch, but I don't watch them live a lot. Oh my god. Wow. At least it's not vast. PK Jungle is my best track. After Sunshine Airport. Who's the hottest president? I mean, have you guys seen Trump play tennis? That's my answer. Smash your best you. Smash, yeah, I'd smash. But like, all the presidents are like old. There's been no like young president. Even when they ran, they were like all too old for me. Wait, how old was JFK? Well, to me, old is anything over, like, 30, okay? Because I think to be president, you have to be 35. How old was JFK when he was president? He was 46! Oh, wait, no, when he died. And 40 is still way too old. Way too old. That's, like... Double my age. That is a controversial age gap. The little zoomers on TikTok would cancel GFK. <laughs> I've never been into, like, older people. Like, you know how people were like, Oh, I like DILFs or I like MILFs. I just never liked them. I don't... I want somebody who's in the same, like, range as me. Oh wait, I got DK Jungle! I'm gonna- I'm gonna smash. No, I mean... Crush! <laughs> I'm gonna do well. That's what I meant to say. Not too bad. I'm in fourth. Not bad. 
feeling evil. <laughs> oh my god, this guy's name is I Eat Your Cat! Well, was, I don't have a cat, and I never will. Even though I desperately won't. I just imagine, like, a clueless little five-year-old seeing that username and losing their mind. They're like, oh my god, he ate my cat, and then he rage quits the game, frantically searches for his cat. So stupid. Okay, what happened? I was in fourth. I was literally doing good. Why did you use the boombox then? Because I'm gonna go pro. Even though I lost a tournament in November, it's now May. <laughs> and I have not improved. Do you think I'll be invited to another tournament ever again? <laughs> oh my god, wait, game changer. Shut up. <laughs> Guys, if I get first, I am stream. I'm not going for the skip. I'm not doing it. Yes! Easy. Okay, I can't afford to gift a sub today, but when I can, chat will get a sub. Dude, I told you! My second best track. EZ. Okay, I will chat one sub. Somebody keep a mental note. <clears throat> so look at me with a crown. Look at that. A rare W. <laughs> Wait, we didn't do predictions today. Don't matter. You guys gotta save your points anyway. <laughs> I think for any, like, painting giveaway, we'll just do it on Twitch with the channel points. I think that'll be the way to go until I build, like, a following on IG or TikTok. So, chatters, save your channel points. Every two months, we'll do a painting giveaway. Along with a new drop. Exclamation shop in chat. You almost said 180k? Why don't you have a million yet? You literally watch every stream. Guys, I've gotten through like three topics. And I have three cue cards. Who got automated? I can't look at it now, but who said a bad word? Okay, so I guess the only advantage to going on the half pipe is to get an item box. But there's no item box on the second half pipe. green shells. I think also with a new capture card, it does make the frame rate a little bit better on my TV. Because before, there was a little bit of lag. Like, instead of running at like 60 frames per second, it would run at like, let's say 55. But this is at a full 60 on my POV. So getting um, 200 more dollars in debt was worth it for the capture card. So loud. I'm so <laughs> I actually got scared. 
him. I was doing so good too. I also want to find a new game to play for the this Tuesday time slot. Because we used to do Mario Kart and then Animal Crossing, but honestly, Animal Crossing kind of fell off. So I want to find a different game. In the month of May, I could probably afford to buy one game. So maybe... I kind of want to do Casual Clashers, because that was one of the sub goal streams we unlocked during the birthday, birthday stream. So since... Since that game is a bit longer, that could either be the next game we do for sub only after Folk and Land, or... It could be the new after Mario Kart slot. But I also kind of want to do like another life building sim game. But I don't know which one to do. Okay, six please, not bad. I. <laughs> not horrible. Ooh, maybe Slime Rancher. Ooh. How, how long is Slime Rancher? Because that was another one I wanted to buy. Ooh, why'd I open Twitter? Oopsie. <laughs> yeah, I remember playing Castle Crasher at my friend's house for like sleepovers. So I'd only get to play like once every two months. Okay. How long is Slime Rancher? Okay, the estimated time to complete all 57 achievements is 25 to 30 hours. Oh. When fo focusing on the main objectives, Slam Rancher is about 14 and a half hours in length. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, so there is an end game to Slam Rancher. Because I wanted to do like a sim type game that we could play only once a week. That doesn't involve like real time gameplay. Because the thing with Animal Crossing is that if you miss a day, then I feel like I'm missing resources. Or missing furniture. So I kind of want to do... I want to do like a life sim-ish game, or like a base building game, once a week. After Mario Kart. Because for the month of May, after April's Twitch income, I have about like $50 to spend for stream. Because I think with- oh my god, with April's Twitch revenue, I have to buy more paint canvases, more paint for the June drop. After, I want to buy some like business cards or stickers, like business theme stickers. I also need to buy like paper, like printed like cardstock. So that's going to be like $100. And then since I changed my phone bill, because I was paying $50 a month for unlimited data that I only used Two gigs every month, so I changed my plan to only be fifteen dollars a month. But the only concern I have is, since I'm graduating next month in June, I'm not gonna have access to Adobe software anymore. I'll have to pay for it myself. Oh my god! And Adobe Creative Cloud, so access to all of Adobe's software, it costs fifty-five dollars a month, I think. So. Better go back to school! <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I don't know how long they'll let you keep the student account for. Because, um... When I was changing degree programs, I was essentially unenrolled, right? So... I lost access to my Adobe programs about... Three months after I was withdrawn. So, maybe I'll have it for three months, I don't know. Or maybe they'll just cut me off right away. $15 a month is a flex. Yeah. But that's because I only have one um, phone on it. It's not like a family plan. Because I've, I've been on my own phone plan for about... I think right before I graduated school, I think. High school, so like... Um... 
Dude, I... <laughs> I graduated... Almost six years ago. That's kind of sad. Guys, I'm a streamer. That's what I've accomplished in six years. I bet everybody's so proud of me. Oh my god, wait. Hold. Pause. Guys, I'm a gamer. Not having the Spotify student discount makes me sad. Well, you know, you got a good job now, so... Smile. What's the move for dinner tonight? I made this chicken mac and cheese the other day, and it's really good. Ooh, Dicky Jungle again. Let's run it back. You know what I also recommend? Following the channel. Because everybody, we are another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, click the follow button. You get cool emotes and the ability to type in chat. Um... Yeah, so follow the channel, guys. <laughs> and if you're already following, make sure you have notifications turned on. That way you don't miss a single stream. You can also follow my Twitter. That way you get more accurate go live notifications. Follow my Twitter, everybody. Hashtag free to follow. Ew, I hate the ice level. Dude, my hands smell like bleach. Oh my god, I can't. I touch my face so much throughout the day, and it's so good that I don't wear makeup. I've never even touched makeup. I think because in general it's so overwhelming. Like, you need so many products, you need all these brushes and tools. I got no items. Guys, I'm in first. Clip it. Rare dub. I usually get pizza from a chain. Because, like, local pizza places, they're always way too expensive. And I've never... I haven't had the opportunity to go to, like, a sit-down place to have pizza yet. Because if me and the roommates are gonna go out to eat, they're always gonna want sushi. So... They, they will never choose a pizza place if we're gonna go to a restaurant and eat. Easy! No, frozen grocery store pizza is still pretty solid. Like, Tostitos? Ooh, it is peak. become a huge fan of um, Hot Pockets. Nobody told my sister, but she bought like a like a 20 pack of the ham and cheese Hot Pockets and they're meant for her breakfast. Nobody snitch, please nobody snitch. But I've been eating them only like, I've only had like four, okay? I've only had four. But I think it's just the convenience. I love Calzone. I think that's why I love Hot Pockets so much. But I remember when I was little, Okay, whenever I have Hot Pockets now, I'll have two, okay? I just splurge a little bit. But I remember being little. I would be able to eat, like, three in one sitting. Like, I was insane. Or just really hungry, I don't know. I agree. The ham and cheese ones aren't the best. Like, the pizza ones are obviously the best. But she- My sister doesn't like pepperoni. She's crazy. She loves greasy food. She likes salami, but she doesn't like pepperoni. I don't understand it. To me, they're, they're the same thing. Literally the same. I got four. Oh, I got four? It's okay. Not bad, not bad. I'm not gonna make jokes. I'm not gonna make jokes. It's just so hard not to make jokes. I'm actually doing really good today. Like, I'm not absolutely flubbing. I'm doing decent. Okay, where's everybody going? <laughs> Are they all stream sniping? Um, are you stream sniping? Type 1. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 
I know what your guys' me's look like. You're creating your final exam? How does that work? Like, do you have to, like, make a portfolio or something? I'm the one in red. That sounds kind of cool, Mac, but also... I don't think my big brain can handle it. When you play Mario Kart, you could choose who the red shell targets, but I know if that function ever gets integrated, whenever I play with you, you guys would always just target me. Even if I'm in last place, you would still choose to target me. Because sometimes when you throw your red shell, it doesn't seem to hit the person in front of you. Or even if it's targeting the person in line in front of you, it still can clip somebody else. Triple red shell because it always targets the same person sometimes if you throw it too quickly. Type one. <laughs> <laughs> Do my hands smell like bleach? I can't. That's like all I can hyper fixate on. I'm like, oh, I can smell it. And I have like the. How would you call it? Like the stove fan on full blast downstairs. So the only place I can smell bleach is on my hands. It's the smell is out of the kitchen. See, hackers being honest. We love honesty. At least you aren't eating. Yeah, because like nobody snitch. But I had hot pockets for lunch, like right before stream. So, like, as I'm, like, biting into the Hot Pocket, I can smell the bleach. <laughs> Do you like the smell of hand sanitizer? I don't mind it. Because the, the smell of alcohol isn't nearly as bad as, like, bleach or cleaner. Oh, wait, this is mirror mode. Uh-oh. One of my worst tracks and mirror mode. Some stores had the sanitizer dispensers, and the sanitizer would just be like liquid. I'm going 
just convinced that they just like secretly put like cleaner in it and said it was hand sanitizer. Cause you know like normal hand sanitizer sanitizer is like kinda goofy. Like I went to the mall a bit ago <laughs> and they had a sanitizer station, right? Where they were like, oh you can sanitize your hands here. But it was they had a roll of paper towels and then a cleaner bottle. And it was labeled sanitizer solution. So when I think of sanitizer solution, I think of like the double sink setups they have in kitchens where it's like dish sanitizer solution. Like I don't know if they had like actual hand sanitizer in that bottle. Dude, Chip is looking out for me right now. <laughs> I mean, Kim did, did say to... Wait, what did you say? Like, rub lemon on my hand or some shit? I don't have any lemons. <laughs> I do- I have lemon and lime juice. Shampoo bottle. <laughs> I don't think my hand will fit. The opening is like literally that big. Jokes. I can't make jokes. <laughs> Dude, my hand smells like bleach. <laughs> oh, it says vinegar or lemon juice. I hate the smell of vinegar too, but we do have- we have lemon and vinegar in the kitchen. Cut off the shampoo bottle cap? Why? That's- that seems like some degen behavior. You don't like squeezing the bottle? Who will never smell bleach again? I think if you drank a gallon of lemon juice, you would. That would just be like instant laxative. <laughs> Mod, change the title to I drink a whole gallon of lemon juice. <laughs> lemon juice challenge? <laughs> YouTubers can make anything into a challenge. <laughs> I was trying to think of like challenge like gimmick fake names, but all I can think of was like Like you know like the overnight target challenges You know I okay, <laughs> I need to get better at improv. I'll be honest. I think I think I'm fine it's just, whenever I think of a bit, I always think of the most extreme concept. And that's not necessarily always the best joke. But you also can't go with the easy joke. Okay, 24 hour bleach hand challenge does sound like something from like 2015 YouTube. That's when they were eating the Tide Pods. Please. 
please. Somebody roll a clip. I should make an overlay where when I turn the layer on, it plays a gif of me getting first. <laughs> cinnamon challenge is actually kind of easy. Um, Maggie Sports does not condone people trying the cinnamon challenge. Do not do it. Okay, this goes over. How, how easy was it? <laughs> I would never try myself Twitch stuff. I would never try it. Nor the Chubby Bunny Challenge. I would never do it on stream. I'm just asking. For research purposes. It's not hard, although it's not safe. Yeah, it's... Cough. Even want to get, like, a little measle of unmixed cocoa powder in my hot cocoa. So I don't think I could ever do the cinnamon challenge. I don't even have that much cinnamon in my house, I don't think. Did you film it, Kobobo? <laughs> if you didn't film it, that's honestly a big L. I tried like a pinch and I started coughing. See, kids, don't do it. Adults, too, don't do it. Spilling tea is a federal offense. Maybe where you're from, Aslan, but here in America, we can say whatever the fuck we want. Right, guys? Let me get some yos. Hi, Aslan. Welcome in. <laughs> Hope we're doing well, man. You know, it's not often we see Aslan, but whenever he comes in, Always opens with a banger. Oh my god, it's Kanye, everybody! Look, it's Kanye! Holy shit, Kanye West is in my lobby. <laughs> Did you laugh at the video I sent? No, I didn't. like this map. It's so bad. <laughs> this is one of your better maps? No cap. I mean, you're actually good at the game hacker, so... Your opinion means nothing. You just dislike the map because you're losing? Um, you don't need to call out when I'm projecting, okay? <laughs> Wait, game changer? I don't like this map because it's sand. I don't like any sand levels. The sand gets stuck in my tire. It gets stuck in my tire. Maybe I need to leave this lobby. <laughs> I, I was so good, but I maybe there's way too many high-level people in my lobby now. I don't know. Do you keep any of your lights on 24-7? Yeah. I have my... Oh, it's the stream lights that used to be my old stream setup. I keep those on all the time. I think they're cozy. See, 
Okay, okay, see that username called Kevin? I keep on seeing it, and I think it's Keelan. Keelan in chat? And I'm like, oh my god, is Keelan stream sniping? <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> it will be very sad the day where I do start getting stream snipers. Because then it's like, how do you handle it? Like, the, the best thing to do in the moment is just not to say anything. Just don't say anything. Ignore it. You ban them. That is true. You can do that. You have before? Yeah. And what is nice about Nintendo is that you can block people. And I don't think they can play with you. That's cool. <clears throat> but, like, with a game like Mario Kart, it's not that bad if you have one person sniping in a game. Because then I could just be, like, a normal player, right? But when you have, like, a lobby of, let's say, like, more than three people sniping, that's when it gets unmanageable. Like, you guys ever see that XQC clip? Where it's him playing Mario Kart, and then he asks, who's stream sniping? And then he says, oh, you got better stay at the starting line. And then literally everybody is at the starting line. <laughs> Still, whenever it says go. Has anybody ever found you playing Mario Kart? Yeah. I think there was one time Vengeance was in a lobby with me. <laughs> and I didn't realize... Because this was a while ago. Um, no, no negativity towards Vengeance. I think they were just goofing. But they were in my lobby. I don't know if it was randomly or if they were trying to. But they were racing as normal. And then when they would pass me, they would stop and hop. And then on stream, I said, oh, that's weird. Why is this guy hopping? <laughs> like, I was clueless. And then I saw the username and I was like, oh. In my head, I was like, oh, that's Vengeance. <laughs> And then I just didn't say anything, and then I DQ'd when the race ended. I mean, that's how it, how I would probably handle it again in the future, like, just try to not say anything. Then play as normal if I can. And I think, I think that's also why I don't want to play any, like, team-type games on stream. Because if somebody is stream sniping and they're on your team, they can just throw. And there's nothing you really do, or they'll just DQ that way you lose for sure. Like in like a FPS game or something. Oh my god! I was doing so well. Nobody threw in the team tournament. I mean, Mac and Keelan did disconnect, so I think they threw on purpose, actually. Yeah, I agree. With those type of games, like, enabling a delay does kind of help with, like, minimizing how many people can get in queue with you, but it's still, like, it, it hurts, like, the viewer experience to an extent. But that's just why I don't play games like that on stream. Smile. Yes, I do have Mario Party Superstars. We actually played it for the birthday. For the birthday stream. <laughs> I'm in 10th. I'm in fucking 11th. Nope, I'm in 11th. <laughs> yeah, we used to do Mario Party with viewers streams regularly, but then I stopped. Because, I don't know. I don't do playing with viewers often. Like, it's not like I do it every week. Because then it would get boring. And with a stream of my size, of the people watching, probably about 10% will actually play or interact if you do like an interactive type viewer stream. So let's say I have 10 people watching only probably two or three would actually play the game. Like, imagine I play Mario Kart right now, and I play with viewers. Imagine being in a race with only two people. That's fucking cringe. <laughs> so, it's kind of like, I would do playing with viewers more regularly, but I would only justify doing it if I had a larger viewer base. It's because I'm afraid of you. When was the last time you even played, Aslan? You haven't competed in a Maggie Sports tourney. We don't know what your actual skill level is in Mario Kart. We don't know if you're actually a sweat. I 
I did get a first place today. Just saying. Somebody find the clip. <laughs> it's real, I promise. Oh, that was a perfect boost. We love that. I just can't have anything nice, can I? Something I don't like about the inside your spike, if you drift the wrong direction, you're you're screwed. I told myself if I ever won the lottery, I would donate the money. But honestly, I'm a brokey now, so I would keep it for myself. I don't give a shit. Because when you win the lottery, you still have to pay all of the income taxes, so you still get kind of screwed. You never get the full $10 billion jackpot. If I would, like, invest the money. Honestly, I don't know anything about investing, so I would just put into savings and hope for the best. Oh, you know what I would do for sure? I would gift my channel a million subs. That's what I would do. Wait, imagine. If you win... Wait, how many... A million subs would be five million dollars. If I win like the hundred million dollar jackpot, I could literally gift a million subs. Wait, somebody do it. Somebody win the lottery and gift my channel a million subs. I think we can do it. BRB winning the lottery real quick. That is kind of cool you guys have tax-free lotteries. What is wrong with the US? Why can't we be more like the EU? Somebody wore a screen ghost mask when they won the lottery and didn't pay taxes? How would they like how would they not find out who they are, though? I didn't disappear, guys. I promise. PC27. <laughs> Thank you for the resub. Four months! Let's go. Thank you, Keelan. I was wondering where you were. I was like, Moncha, Keelan, you're two hours late? Imagine. You know who else is gonna miss some things? The non-subs. Because everybody, we are... Um, two hours on the stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid the ad by subscribing for four ninety nine, just five dollars. Skip your coffee and get ad previewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe. See if you have a Prime sub available. <coughs> but thank you for the resub, Keelan. I think we'll do maybe thirty ish more minutes. Because I'm, I'm, like, tired, but I'm not, like, rashing yet. You've been out since, too? Don't worry about it. You know, you gotta go touch grass sometimes. Okay, I'm not necessarily agoraphobic, but I have gotten more, like, anxious going out and about. You know, just living in America, there's so much violence and, you know, mass shootings. That's our reality, unfortunately. So I, I do feel like I'm more aware whenever I go out, but I still get a little bit anxious whenever I'm in, like, a super crowded store. And I think with the misconception that people think... You know, it can happen anywhere, and that's just how it is, no matter how safe you think your area is. I always think it's funny whenever people talk anecdotally about mass casualty events, but like, oh, this was a very safe town, which in reality they're just saying, oh, this is a very white area. That's not, that's what they're saying, okay? Um, but it can happen anywhere. So I'm not saying that you should be like super scared going on about, just be aware. Be mindful. And I think you have to have like a, a plan in place to where if anything does happen, you know who to contact. And I also think it's totally fine to have some self-defense items on you, whether it be pepper spray or, like, a blade, you know. I think that's totally fine and valid.
Am I gonna get a first on a rainbow road track? This is the one of the most difficult ones. Stop! Road got a star because I was so insanely far ahead. <laughs> yeah, I agree. There are some things that you don't joke about and mass casualty events like that are not the jokes. Mm -mm. I think they should be sent to juvie. Like, I don't understand why some like kids make those types of jokes about their own school. Like, faking threats? Like, are you actually brain dead? No, I can Okay, third is not bad. Not bad. I'm so surprised about the driveway situations going on. I think those happen often, but they're only highlighted recently. Um, I'm not saying that the media is, like, selectively choosing things. But I think, I mean, like, Select will be choosing things in the sense of, like, creating a narrative. Ew, we hate that type of rhetoric. But I think since it's more prevalent in people's, like, recent mind, I think that's why they're choosing to report on it. Because there are a lot of gun deaths that happen in America, whether it be, like, intentional shootings or accidental misfirings. It happens all the time. It's just not seen because it happens so much and also america is huge the amount of guns that are in this country is astronomical so when there are more guns more violence will happen whether it be accidental or intentional and it's so funny whenever you watch people reporting on mass casualty events and they just choose to not focus on what the main problem is it is the firearms it's not like there are hundreds of thousands of people dying from katana deaths every year. Just because the presence of a weapon... Okay, just the presence of a weapon does not mean people will die. It's the amount and the ease of access to said weapon that causes the amount of casualties or harm. And that's the thing that people aren't acknowledging. And I understand the argument to where people will say, well, if we get rid of the firearms, that does not mean it will stop deaths from happening. That is true, but it will minimize the amount that happens. And also, maybe kids going to school won't be as scared, you know? You can never truly stop something from happening, but you can try your best to minimize the amount and impact that can happen. Obviously, this is coming from somebody who hasn't lost somebody to gun violence. I don't own a firearm. I know people who do, but I personally don't. But I think it's still important, no matter what lived experience you have, no matter what property you own, you still have to have the greater good in mind. Let's go for the skip. Okay, that was kind of bad. <laughs> but it's fine, it's fine. I'm still in fourth. Fifth. Are you doing predictions? Oh, wait, no. <laughs> oh, I forgot. It, it's kind of too late for today. Oh, wait, I'll, I'll do one more prediction if I get one more first place today. I'll play for like 15 more minutes. Damn it! That line could have been better. Shit. Oh, I, I keep on forgetting the trick to where if you spam the button, it'll make the item spawn quicker. I literally always forget. I'll take a fourth. I'll take a fourth. Okay, I'll play for like 15 more minutes. Let's do a prediction. Okay, prediction is, will peace and get first? 
So by that I mean one more first place before I end stream. I've already gotten a first day. I did get fourth this last race. So it, it could happen. 25k. Oh my god. You're insane. Come on, any believers? I am really good at Warriors Goldmine. My hands smell like bleach. Okay. Any believers, please. Okay, thank you. Whoever put 69, thank you. You're a real one. <laughs> and uh, the last thing I will say about gun violence in general is... I don't think people necessarily understand the impact or severity losing somebody can be until it happens to you. Or till you live through an event like that yourself. That's why you see a lot of people who are victims of said events become activists. Because they don't want it to happen to anybody else. And we are gonna come to a point where most everybody is gonna live through it or nobody who has lived through an event like that. But obviously, we don't want to get to that point. Like, there are some people who have lived through, like, an elementary one. And then experienced something similar in high school. It's... Insane. That that is common. Here in the States. So, no matter if you've lived through something or not, you should always still advocate for the safety and betterment of society as a whole. And that's an argument that I always bring up to any of like my gun ho friends, because you know I got some of them. We live in Washington, but I still got some gun freak friends. Um because when you whenever you're talking about these um political topics, you have to be receptive. And also mindful of why the other person thinks the way they do. Because if you're gonna come off combative right away, they're not gonna listen to you. They don't give a fuck. They're always gonna be way too set in their own ways. So you have to bring up the perspective and point of view of empathy. Eighth place. See, this is what happens when we don't play Animal Crossing. I just talk politics and Mario Kart. Wait, imagine your favorite, like, political commentator just spitting as they're playing, like, subway surfers or something. <laughs> now I'm scared that you'll win. No, don't worry, I will win. Be scared. What if I just don't end stream until I get first? <laughs> that could be a strat. We should talk about something lighter now. One of my... <laughs> One of my topics is embarrassing fart. <laughs> and I don't remember what it is. Because, <laughs> like, when I, all my topics, I write just like three words. So when I look back at them, I'm like, what the fuck was I thinking? Embarrassing fart. <laughs> Shameless plug! Wait, what the fuck? What is this? H no way. Is this piece in r.myshopify.com? Everybody. Exclamation shop in chat. Use code TWITCH10 to buy original art from your favorite streamer, which is obviously me, everybody. I want to get to a million clicks. Thank you for redeeming, hacker. There is a new Twitch rule to where if you stream and you have like an overlay of a sponsor or if you have like a sponsored stream, 
you have to disclose that it's sponsored content. Similar to how on YouTube, um, whenever the video opens, it'll have like a banner saying, this includes sponsored content. So now they have that for Twitch, and that is new, but it's gonna be, st it's gonna start to be enforced in July. So if there's it. If there's any streamers in chat, it'll be when you open your, like, when you create your stream title, you just scroll down. It's, it's, you check a box where, where usually where it says, this is a rerun stream, and I'll have another option for disclosing that it's sponsored content. Have you already started making the new collection? Yes. Um, if we hit our sub goal today, I'll leak what it is. I'll leak what it is. Oh my god. I'm planning on launching it in mid-June. I think that's the best time because I'm not gonna have enough time in May. And also, I need to order more canvases and I need to wait for my Twitch payout to go through. So, <laughs> I won't have supplies until June anyway. But I do have more plans on like how to elevate it in terms of like taking more pictures. Ain't no way! Thank you, Kobobo, for the four gifted subs! Thank you! Oh, they went to Bride and Vora. Nice! I was looking at the game. Thank you! And it went to Ethan! Fuck me! We get some little Bobos in chat? Thank you! Look, you made- oh. Thank you! Wait, I'm, I'm exiting out of the game, and then I'll leak. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Kobobo. I appreciate it. Thank you. We will do a sub-only stream later today. Do you want to do Bolt of the Lamb or Calligraphy on the art channel? Pick one, and I'll do that later today, because we did it a daily goal. Okay. So, I will leak. Nobody snitch. Nobody clip. But, similar to launch one... I will be, um, basing the designs off of sketch cards, right? I have to make sure I don't leak anything. Because these cards have my name on it. So this month, I mean June's, June's launch. The theme will be lines. So there are some fan favorite designs in here, also ones that you haven't seen yet. They're, they're all sketch cards, so... Fan favorite. This one will be made for production. Giving straight. <laughs> yeah, during Pride Month. This one also. The basic one. I've made this one on stream. So you guys have seen this one. And then the new ones. So these ones, I need to plan how to elevate these. This one. I think I might inverse the colors. Or... Instead of doing solid black fills, I might do, like, lines. So do, like, a black to white gradient. And then, finally, this one. Bit of color. I feel like this one is something you would see in, like, a hotel. I think I want to change this one to make, instead of ovals, to make into leaf shapes. And then, since this drop in June will be more abstract pattern work, I think in September is when I'll start doing illustrations. And that I'm working on something for the September launch. So no leaks. But I'm working on something extra for launches post-September. It might start with an S. Okay, back to Mario Kart. But thank you, Kobobo. Oh, I haven't changed my character. Let's do Toadette. <laughs> that was a good leak. Yeah, all the art frogs in shambles. They'll have to watch a Mario Kart VOD. <laughs> oh, 
Ooh, Thwomp Ruins, my third best track. Is that the Joker? Monka W. Isn't there a Joker Twitch emote? What's- I know there is one, what's it called? Yeah, right here, it's- <laughs> Why is so serious? <laughs> Also, I would like to say, for the giveaways, if you win a painting, you cannot win another one. I feel like that's kind of scam. But you can win multiple gift cards. I think that's fair. Fourth of July strain? Maybe. I will not be shooting a gun. Don't worry. Or fireworks. I, I do not fuck with fireworks. Crystal was supposed to win five more? No! <laughs> That'd be crazy, though. But wouldn't you guys be sad if somebody won every month? Honestly, the probably the best strat is to win a free painting a year from now. That way you can choose from the whole... all the previous collections. You don't celebrate 4th of July? Really? My house almost caught on fire four times on 4th of July. In one night? <laughs> but I would always get so paranoid of that happening, even as a little kid. Because my childhood home had a huge tree in front of it. So I would always get scared that something would happen when i fall asleep. But nothing ever did. He got very lucky. But there was a house that caught fire, like, a block away from me when I was, like, 10. So that kind of freaked me out. Easy. Oh, he thought he could snipe me? Nice try. Um, guys, if I get first- Wait! I just realized there's a prediction on the line. Ain't no way! I get first before I end stream? Yes. Okay, we're done. I've peaked. Dude, that's crazy. I didn't think of, out of all the tracks, that one. And it went to Meg? No way. Damn, we had four doubters. One believer. 30k to Mac. Dude, you, I think Mac is gonna get VIP soon, right? Damn. You know what they say, go big or go home. Damn. That's what you get for gambling. Gambling is bad. Okay, chatters. I think we can wrap it up here for today. I know shorter stream. Don't worry. Tomorrow, I will do um, Space for the Unbound. But since we did hit our daily sub goal, thank you to Kim Kobobo for gifting today. I will do a subscriber only Cult of the Lamb stream later today. Probably in like an hour and a half. So maybe 3 p.m. So, if you want to watch it, subscribe. Okay? But, for now, we're gonna do calligraphy. So, if you're new to stream, anybody who donates or uses their channel point will get their name written. So, I'm gonna get that set up along with some music. Damn, I got first! Holy moly! 
I'm correct. So while I'm getting this set up, everybody, if you could, politely, go check out my Twitter. You get funny tweets and better go live notifications so we don't miss a single stream. <laughs> Dude, Kobobo's never gonna watch stream again. Or maybe he'll just never doubt me. That also works. <clears throat> I did not expect two wins in one stream. I think there was one stream where I got three first place, so it is it is possible. Don't worry. Oh, also, Kobobo, you have gifted a total of five subs for the month, so you are eligible for a sketch card this month. Let's go. Okay. It works. Oh, <laughs> almost showed feet. <laughs> Monk and W. Okay, so I'm gonna do channel point names first. Oh, it's supposed to go this way. So if you want me to write your name, all I gotta do is use your channel point. Also, if you put an emote in the chat, it shows up on screen. Holy moly. topics on my cue card. I'll screenshot if you want leaks. I, I literally have three. Because, like, since I don't go out much, it's hard for me to, like, think of, like, natural story times. So I usually just look at, like, question lists. That way I get an idea of, like, what I can talk about. And I feel like it also helps with my improbability. Because being able to answer on the spot, I think, is a good skill to have. You know, for like interviews, television, or work interviews, right? It's National Washington Day? No way. Inslee didn't post about it. What should I do for National Washington Day? Should I go pollute a river? <laughs> Just make up stories that's what big YouTubers do? For real. L. Washington? I literally edited a clip. Wait. <laughs> wait, wait. Because I was talking about how great Washington is, and then Mac typed in chat. What did you type in chat? Where is it? I need to find it. I It's here on my phone. I edited it. It's, like, it's gonna be posted in July. What was Mac's chat list? Where is it? Oh, wait, where is it? Actually. Oh, oh, wait, right here. Max said, You guys have post apocalyptic air quality. And then I said, Why are you making fun of Mount St. Helens? People died. <laughs> Jeez. Mac hates. Mac does not like when people make 9 11 jokes, but Mount St. Helens is fair game. Hypocrisy. No, I don't make- Guys, I do- I do not make fun of 9-11. I do not. I, I do not. Clippers? I do not. No, 
No, but Washington is great. Also, chatters, if you enjoy calligraphy, you should go follow my art channel. It is at peacein underscore art on Twitch. I want to go live on that channel once a week. Fingers crossed. We do calligraphy. So if you like chill, just chatting, art type vibes, go follow that channel. Okay, we had potato and macrodium today. <laughs> also, someone double texted me and I realized how annoying it is now. See? Full circle. Perspective is important. <laughs> I think double texting is more so annoying when you don't want to talk to them. You know what I mean? When you kind of like need an hour to like reset. And process what they're saying, but when they double text, ooh, the worst. Are you a recovering double texter? Can we also add Kobobo Redeem? Now we're gonna move on to Euler names. So anybody who donates to the channel or subscribes gets the name written down. We had a good handful today. <laughs> I'm ghost of them because we're just gonna say we're doing good like nothing else to talk about. Ooh. I hate that. But then it also comes down to like, are they gonna hold up the conversation as well? people instead of straight up saying you don't want to speak as immature i agree but then it's also kind of like hard to express that you don't want to talk to somebody you know it, it's always more awkward i am uh, and i also don't want to like ruin their day okay because one of my life mantras is i don't want to say anything that can make somebody want to like uh, trigger warning unalive themselves is like the way I think to myself sometimes I'm just like and I mean that in the sense of I don't want to say anything that's gonna like drastically ruin someone's day so it's like that's why I will be frank and upfront when I need to be but then if I can assume that somebody's in a not so good place I'm not gonna say shit usually would you rather live in uncertainty or no I would rather no I- uncertainty kills me. Like, it gives me so much anxiety. It's- it's really bad. Because, for me, an my anxiety makes me hyper fixate on every single interaction I have. 
and it makes me be hypercritical of everything I do. I agree. If the person doesn't make an effort to communicate, why bother with them? I agree. Fully with that. It's interesting because I've been on the receiving and giving end of that. And I can understand why someone would not want to keep in contact. Whether it be like there's been issues or if they just don't have the energy for it. But if somebody doesn't want to make an effort... Because I have such limited mental energy to talk to people... It's kind of like, why am I going to give your mental energy to you? Or why am I going to give my mental energy to you if you don't want to give it back? I think a good way to approach it is just be like, you know... When you reply this way, it makes me feel like you don't value my time. And I would like to keep talking to you. But I want to feel like there's equal effort in the time we spend together. Because when you are approaching somebody with a difficult proposal or like situation, you have to say how you feel, why you feel the way you have to say how you feel, why the way you feel, and then also a compromise or a solution. Because if you just state how you feel, then it can be seen as accusatory. If you state how you feel and why you how you feel. You can't necessarily expect everybody to empathize with you or s or understand how you're feeling. So you have to offer a solution as well. Okay, we have Kim with one gift to the chat room today. Once again, thank you, Kim. Also, really glad you got your sketch cards in the mail. I'm really glad they arrived safely. Really glad. <laughs> I feel like I'm always the friend putting less effort. And that's okay. If you can acknowledge that, that just needs to be communicated. I think you can be like, you know, um, I have a limited social battery, and I will try my best to keep in contact, but some days I will be more, not willing, willing is not the right word. Hmm. I don't, that's hard. I don't know. It also comes down to, like, the person you're talking with has to be able to, like, be emotionally mature enough to handle that conversation. trying to get colors that match this page because the greens and the blues very nice damn four month resub from keelan that's a third of a year holy Dude, I can smell the bleed from my hands when they're like on the desk. I will wash my hands once I end stream. Don't worry. Unless I forget, then. Oh well. <laughs> we had Keelan with a warm on the reason. Once again, thank you, Keelan. Keep enjoying the emotes. I hope you're able to wash it out to give yourself clarity. Thank you.
Yeah, I agree. Chip, it just needs to be communicated. Because when you don't communicate, then that other person can only assume what you're thinking. And whether it be like platonic or romantic relationships, you need to communicate properly. Because that's just going to dampen and create seeds of doubt. Just be normal and communicate. Well, some of us have problems, okay? With communicating, not in general, but some of us also have problems. <laughs> Guys, I'm depressed. I need to get re-diagnosed. That's what I'm not looking forward to. Dude, Mac, did you just notice the overlay? I literally said it before I started writing. <laughs> Lulus. What's your favorite food? I love ice cream. Viewers, we should be friends. No! No parasocial viewers. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> I love ice cream. I spontaneously prepped ice cream sundaes, I got a pre-made frozen cheesecake, I got some strawberries, I made a simple strawberry syrup, I got, you know how they have those big tubs of ice cream at your grocery store, like you see like the PTA lady whip out during the potluck? I got one of those, so I spent $20, and then I prepped like little sundae cups, and I made like 10. That way... Because they have, like, little pre-made Sunday cups at the grocery store, but they're, like, $3 each. And I was like, I could just make my own. And I got the, the tub of ice cream. It was $6. The, the cheesecake was 9 And the strawberries were 5 So I spent about 20 bucks, And they were good. The simple syrup was really good. Because I boiled down the strawberries as normal for syrup. And then I kept about, like, a quarter cup of regular chopped strawberries that I put in at the very end. That way, I, wait, that way, when I froze them, there was like whole pieces of strawberry in the, in the sundaes, and it was really good. I spent $20 when I shouldn't have. Because <laughs> now I have 25 cents. <laughs> was fine. I'll, I'm getting grocery money next week, so I'll be okay. We have enough food for this week. I just can't go to Taco Bell. Sad. Okay, Emmy had a sheesh 15 month resub. I do like ice cream a lot. Oh, I think my favorite snack has to be yogurt covered pretzels. Because they're the perfect mix of salty and sweet. And in terms of like dinner entree, I love the um, kale soup that I make. It's like Toscano, but it's just cream-based kale soup with sausage. Pretty solid. Okay, we have one more Euler name, everybody. So this is going to be the last name of the day. If you want me to write your name, all i got to do is donate to the channel or use your channel points. Five gifted today. I'll do it in rainbow. There's only two names on this page. I'll do it again.
Not gonna lie, it is kind of satisfying ripping a page out. Gets a little bit of the angst out of my bloodstream. Okay, slash J slash SRS. Did anybody sign up for Emmy's Patreon? Because <laughs> if anybody did, I think I deserve um, royalties. <laughs> I can be like, Emmy, I got you a million sign ups through that one shot up today. Through that one shout out today. I think I deserve a 5% cut. I was thinking about it do it it's only five bucks and you get because i think she has a one dollar tier where you get digital downloads five dollars is three to five stickers and then ten dollars is where you get the stickers and a print i think it's worth because she's gonna try and do drops every month and seriously if any of you chatters do subscribe at her on twitter and tell you subscribe Because, you know, we gotta support the friends and the artists. Because she's actually making the stickers herself. Like, she's not getting them done through a third party. And she's printing in-house because she has a... She bought a nicer laser jet printer. So she's actually making everything herself. That's what I think is really impressive. Because you can get stickers made in bulk for, like, 50 cents each. But she's actually printing and cutting them herself. And I think that makes it more meaningful. Uh, it's kind of similar to why I'm doing replicas and not prints. You get to physically be a part of the production process. Nope, she's not using Redbubble. She's actually making them herself. That's another reason why I'm shilling. <laughs> because she's actually fucking making them. <laughs> That sounds like a lot of work. I agree. But you know what? If she has enough signups, then maybe she can afford to get them made. Guys, if we get her to a million signups, I will gift a million subs. Thank you for redeeming, Kim. I think Emmy has videos on her TikTok that show her making the stickers and like cutting them out. I don't use stickers? Me too! <laughs> but what I did see somebody do is they put the stickers in like a photo album. Like you know they have like mini photo albums with the clear sleeves? Or they put them in like a um you know like the the baseball card books? I saw somebody put stickers in those. I might put the stickers on my my second laptop. Yes, everybody, I do have two laptops. I might put the stickers on that one because that has like a removable case, so it's not gonna ruin my actual laptop. You'd buy it on a hoodie? I think some of her designs would have to be altered for like shirt design. Like it'd be good if it was like an emblem on the corner. Or she made like a towel print. <laughs> okay, we had Emmy with a 15 month resub and Gobobo with five gifted helping unlock a bonus sub only stream later today. We have one more redemption name. The last call. A leak and a bonus dream? Yeah. I think I got scammed, honestly. Whenever I, whenever I do one of those like spontaneous 
incentive things. One day for a bit, I just want to make this sub goal to like 5,000 subs. <laughs> just be like, got him. But I feel like I would, that's a bad bit. Also, what do you guys think of my hair like this today? I kind of like it. Because usually I don't like when my hair touches my ears, but I have the part that hangs here tied back. So it's not necessarily touching my ears as much. I think it's cute. Because I usually have it like this. But today I have it like this. Very nice, thank you. Okay, any other redeemers? Last call? Dude, I have so many. These are all my right-wing talking points, guys. I'm- I I'm a grifter now. <laughs> Dude, I will sing a song- oh, I was hoping nobody would ever take that today. Okay, I gotta find a song to sing. Mainly, I don't know what song I wanna sing. <laughs> Lomo. <laughs> I like how we've become a Lamau chat room. I think it's hilarious. Like, imagine I become like a uh, 1K Andy and my whole chat room is just Lamau! <laughs> that, that's hilarious to me. Ooh, you know what song that I want to learn? I can't play it. I want to learn Halsey's verse for Die For Me by Post Malone. I want to- I'm gonna learn it. I'll- I'll, I'll try to learn it in like a month. Because the cadence is kind of hard. I'm looking for a song, don't worry. <clears throat> I think I want to do Lucky. I almost ex- oops. <laughs> I exed out my mod view by accident. Why do I keep doing that? Okay, hey everybody, I'm going to sing a song for chat. You can check out previous singing clips by cl cl clicking the link I just put in chat. I have a playlist on YouTube. I'm going to do <clears throat> Lucky by Jason Mraz. It doesn't have the lyrics. Never mind, I got to find the lyrics. That's stupid. Why? Because YouTube music has the lyrics as like a side tab. But it didn't have it for the song. So if you could, everybody, put your favorite animated, your favorite hype emotes in the chat, that'd be great. <clears throat> I'm gonna do the f bridge and first verse, I think. <clears throat> yeah. Boy, you. In the dreams, I feel you whisper across the sea. I keep you with me in my heart. You make it easier when life gets hard. Lucky I'm in love with my best friend. Lucky to have been where I have been. Lucky to be coming home again. Ooh. They don't know how long it takes. Waiting for love like this. 
every time we say goodbye. I wish we had a one more kiss, I'll wait for you. I promise you, I will. That's so pretty. I sing it a bit slower than you usually do, but it's so pretty. If you guys don't know the song, what year did it come out? I will. Oh, 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 I'm lucky. Oh, it came out in 2008. I don't think you guys were born by then. <laughs> Wait, actually, if you're born in 2008, you'd, you'd be 15? Okay, yeah, you, you could be a Twitch viewer. I don't know who Jason Mraz is. He also did, um... Oh, how's it go? It's like, I'm slipping through the cracks. Two thousand? That's all of my sisters. Bubbly? No, that was a. What else? What else? what what is the song I'm thinking about? He has another song that literally everybody knows. <laughs> Lucky to be. Oh, I'm yours. I'm yours. Though I won't hesitate. You guys know that song. You guys have to know that one. So thank you, Go Bobo, for redeeming and stalling the stream. Guys, we're almost at three hours of time. I stopped Mario Kart at literally 2.20. You guys are master stallers. Okay. Let's wrap it up here for today. I would like to thank everybody for watching. Any chatters, lurkers, thank you all for hanging out today. Once again, thank you to Emmy and Keelan for resubscribing, Kim for gifting a sub, and Kobobo with five gifted, all helping unlock a bonus subscriber only stream later today. I'll probably do it. I have to wait an hour before I end this stream and then start a new one. So I'll probably start it at three. Three. So guys, be in chat. That way. Let's see if I can beat the first world in Copeland Lamb DLC. I don't know if I'll be able to. Darkwood? I don't understand why they're so fucking hard. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Before I go, though, please make sure you follow my offline socials. I have a Twitter, Instagram, and a TikTok. Go follow all three. Real fans follow all of them. But for sure, follow my Twitter. I need more clout. Yeah, bye guys, bye Chip, bye Cole, bye. Bye bye. I think I'm gonna change it to more cozier clothes, I'm not gonna lie. This the white thing is cute. I have no idea what to call it. Shawl? I think it's a shawl. It's like the faux plasticky fabric material. But it's really sweaty. I cannot believe I only got through four talking points. Oh, I got through five. Okay, I got through five. Because I was going through- I was writing these cue cards yesterday and today, and I was like, hopefully this lasts like two streams, but I only got through four, so this will literally last two months. We love that. Bye, Mac. My hands still smell like bleach. <laughs> I definitely think once I'm out of school, I'll do longer streams if I can. Because I feel like the one-off story games usually go for four to five hours. One-off games go for three to five. So I just need to make my Mario Kart stream day go for another two hours. That's what I need to do. I've said this before, but dream scheme stream schedule is calligraphy on the art channel on Mondays. Mario Kart Tuesday, story game Wednesday, one-off game on Thursday. And then sub only Friday, and then weekend I focus on YouTube content. 
but I'm, I'm just limited on like my physical ability. Like yesterday, I was literally ready to stream. And then at 10, I just got really fucking tired. <laughs> like it was weird because like, I felt it in my knees. Like my knees were really heavy. It, It's wild because I didn't notice it when I was standing, but once I sat down, I was like, oh, 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 everything's heavy. But I just, it's important that I don't push myself too much. Like yesterday, if I would have strained, I would have been miserable. So I think it's good that I didn't. I've explained it before, but anytime I don't go live, I will not post that I'm not going to stream. Because that's cringe. I'm only going to stream when I go live. So um, everybody's best bet is to just have notifications on for Twitch and follow my Twitter and have notifs turned on. Because I usually do a go live tweet right before I go live. That way, if people want to be in chat a little bit early, you can. And hang out a little bit. Whew. What if I just stall till three hours of time? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna stall. Uh, let's talk for 55 more seconds. I'm excited for this weekend though. I get to see my friend that I haven't seen in a while. Because they moved a, a bit away. So I don't see them like ever. I'm excited. The only thing I'm bummed about is that I have to get all, literally all my homework done by Friday. Because everything is due Saturday this week. I have to do homework. Sad. But there will come a day when homework is no longer homework and it becomes real work. Okay, I want to try and end at literally exactly three hours of time. Okay, 10, 9, 